I'm Lee Chantel from VivaLaVegan.net and welcome to a new food tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make a vegan shepherd's pie. Before you do anything, make sure that you turn that oven on. Put it for about 180 degrees Celsius. I'll just introduce some of the ingredients we have. I have one cauliflower that I have already cooked. I will be using a cup of nutritional yeast and that will be the top part of that. And the bits that I'll be using in the wok now that we'll be making for the sort of base level, uh, we have one zucchini, one carrot, a couple of tomatoes diced, we have about 400 grams of cooked lentils and we have a few herbs like oregano and basil and we also have some mushrooms. Okay, so I've got a bit of coconut oil in the wok first and we're just going to add all the ingredients. So we're going to add the zucchini, we're going to add the carrot, we're going to add the mushroom. There was about six mushrooms in there and we had a couple of carrots and one zucchini that we um, grated. I've got the lentils here, the herbs, and then I'm just going to put in the tomatoes. And all we want to do is just cook that, simmer it for a while, and then it'll all be ready for when we put together the shepherd's pie. Now I'm just going to leave that to simmer and let's go and make the top. Okay, so we're going to make the top for the shepherd's pie now. And what I have is one cauliflower, probably the biggest size of the cauliflower is better. And we have one cup of nutritional yeast. And all we're going to do is we've previously cooked the cauliflower. We've steamed this beforehand. And we're going to add it into the blender. And then we're going to add the nutritional yeast and blend it all together. And make sure the cauliflower is cooled first before you're putting it in. And a cup of nutritional yeast. Okay, so I'm just going to find the menu for this. I'm going to do multi-use and then do high blending. So we'll start that. That was the top we just made. We'll just go over and check the rest now. So the um, veggies and that that we've been stir frying in here look quite good. And keep in mind we don't need to cook it fully because we're going to be putting it into the oven next. So that's about right and we'll turn the heat off and let's go over and put them together. Okay, so my lovely camera assistant Cam has greased these little ramekin bowls for me beforehand. And what I'm going to do is just put the mixture that we've just made in the wok into the bottoms then i'm going to put the cauliflower mixture on top so let's get to it and we need to fill it about two thirds of the way and this will make six of these but i can't find the sixth little ramekin dish so just pretend there's six and then I'm going to put the um, cauliflower mix on top, like so. So all I'm doing is just putting the cauliflower mix right on top, like so. And you could probably be a bit more dainty if you like. And then what we're going to do is just sprinkle some of the nutritional yeast on top of each one. We're going to put that in the oven now. And so I'm just going to clean the sides up a bit. Okay, so I'm going to put them into the oven at about 180 degrees Celsius and we're going to do that for about 20 to 30 minutes. Okay, and here's our little mini vegan shepherd pies. So we want them to come out just with a little bit of brown on top and um, light, and they look a bit yellow too from the nutritional yeast. Okay, so what I'm going to do just for serving purposes, I have a little shepherd's pie here and I have an assortment of lettuce, nasturtium leaves and some spinach 
from Jeff's garden and we're just going to put those across there. So you could serve this with a nice green salad and um, my lovely friend Cam, who's our film extraordinaire, he actually had this with some corn chips one time as well. So do whatever you will with this shepherd's pie vegan version and I hope you enjoy it. See vivalavegan.net for more info and more recipes.